Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in Southwood, suburb of, of Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, I am um, not feeling good today. My my, I have a hip pointer in my hip where I had surgery back in 2007 um, and 2019. I had two different surgeries and went to the doctor there and they didn't want to help me so I'm, they're not in my network so I'm trying to find another neurologist. But the subject of the day is the Dallas Cowboys utilizing their great weapons in a, in a way where they can uh, be successful. If any of you young youngsters remember, you probably don't remember the great Preston Pearson. He created the form of the uh, third down back. Tony Pollard is in that same aspect, in that same form, and that same type of generation type of player. Preston Pearson was phenomenal. He was amazing out the backfield on screens, draws, uh, beating line, middle linebackers, safeties down the hash marks. Uh, if, you look, if any of y'all look at old great films of the 1977 Dallas Cowboys, 78 Cowboys, 79 Cowboys, you see in those three years, you see the great Preston Pearson coming out the backfield, catching passes, blocking for Roger Staubach, uh, helping out Ron Springs, helping out Tony Darsett. Uh, Tony Darsett ended up beating him in the middle, late in the season of 1977 season, the year when my Dallas Cowboys were world champions, the greatest Dallas Cowboy team ever to live. That season, uh, it was late in the season, and Tony Darsett, he was competing against Preston Pearson a great old veteran from formerly had played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and he ended up um, catching him and beating him, beating him out eventually beating him for the starting position at, at uh, tailback running back it's a beautiful morning this morning people it is gorgeous out here today I just want to show you how be beautiful it is it is a beautiful beautiful morning and so I'm just hoping that uh, Kellen Moore, that he can utilize how great uh, Tony Pollard is. He can be that same type of um, uh, tailback out the backfield slash receiver in the slot. Catching screens, draws, wheel routes out the backfield, competing against uh, middle linebackers and safeties. He has the speed. He has the catching, catching ability. Uh, when he was at M University of Memphis, the University of Memphis utilized him in that capacity. And that's what um, I'm speaking to straight. I'm speaking to Keller Moore. Keller Moore need to utilize him in that same way. Utilize uh, Tony Pollard in a way where he can, uh, we can benefit uh, the Dallas Cowboys in a way where we can win games and, 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 uh, and not have to worry about where Dakota Prescott got to throw for 300, 450 yards a game and, uh, and try to outsco outscore other great offenses like the Kansas City Chiefs, the Los Angeles Rams, the Los Angeles Chargers, Cincinnati Bengals, the Buffalo Bills, the, the 49ers, and teams like that. Uh, it don't, it, don't, it don't make any sense. And Tampa Bay with the so-called GOAT. He's not the GOAT, but I'm gonna talk about it. He's not the GOAT. If he played in the 70s, he would've got crushed by the Doomsday defense, the Steel Curtain defense, the Over the Hill gang, the Purple People Eaters, um, and the uh, Fearsome Foursome. But the subject of the day uh, is, uh, is Tony Pollard. Is he being utilized in the right perspective? I say no. I say no because uh, the Dallas Cowboys are relying on their instead of them. Uh, we another thing too. We're relying on um, a whole herd of corral of wide receivers working together instead of having one great wide receiver. We got rid of <coughs> excuse me, Amari Cooper, which was stupid and dumb and not not smart at all. So, uh, 
I don't like the way the Dallas Cowboys front office carry their business about where they do things in that in that aspect. It's, it don't make it doesn't make any sense. You can hear the airplane above me uh, passing by. But I don't like how the Dallas Cowboys conduct business in that area of concern. And I really do believe that uh, if we uh, if we just uh, utilize the great weapons that we do have and change our perspective of winning games, uh, life is like this. If you keep doing something and it's not pr productive in, 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 in everything, Good morning, gentlemen. How y'all doing today? Great, thanks. How are you? If you're not, if you're doing something in life and it's not being productive, or either uh, 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 bringing results, why keep you? Do, why you keep doing that over and over again? The Dallas Cowboys are that type of franchise. We keep over and over doing the same thing over and over and over again, and not bringing world championships, and it and it makes no sense. It starts with front office personnel. It starts with the people that front office are afraid to lose their jobs, afraid to uh, to show that they're con that they out to win games. They don't concern. They're not uh, considering us fans, America teams fans, how we feel about this team and how we feel about the Dallas Cowboys. I've been a fan since 1966. I'm to the point now where I'm tired and I'm sick of the way they conduct their businesses, but. Uh, I truly believe if the Dallas Cowboys change a, a few things in, in their coaching, their um, preparation, game planning, and adjustments, things can be better and we can get past w uh, uh, winning games that we should win. I'm saying that to say this. Uh, so there you have it. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in Southwood. It is a wonderful and a beautiful day. I do think that things can be better. Last season, I went out on a limb and predicted a 12-5 and five season that came to pass. And then we lost to Debo Sanders and the, and the 49ers, our, one of our old rivals from the old days. And they beat us like a drum. That, and then that, I blame that on coaching. I blame that on unpreparation, uh, poor uh, mismanagement, no adjustments by Kellen Moore. So there you have it. Can the Dallas Cowboys utilize what the great weapons that they do have? Like Dalton Schultz, he's the average tight end who's uh, right now has missed uh, uh, volunteer OTAs and now regular training camp is fixing to begin. The Dallas Cowboys are, is America's team. I want to say blessings to all of the YouTubers out there like Joe Boo Sports, Big Game James, Skywalker Steel, Cowboy Huddle, Cowboy Fan Talk, Cowboy 1980, uh, uh, Landlord, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Fisher Report, Joe Boo Sports, and me. I'm Dallas Sports, it's 1977, coming to you here in Southwood. You be blessed, put God in your life, love one another, and help one another. This is Dallas Sports, 1977, coming to you here. I love you. Take care. And have a wonderful best day. Bye-bye. And I love you. Bye-bye.